Good morning guys. I am just picking up the camera. It is about 1230. My mom came over and did the Bible study with Dalton and Day. She also brought them donuts and brought me a coffee. This is like a sugar cookie latte. It is so good. My mom just left so now it is a chill day, do whatever day for Dalton and Daylin because I have a ton of things to clean and desserts to prep and some food stuff to prep as well because my dad and stepmom are coming up just for a few hours tomorrow. Um, they live three hours south of here. So <clears throat> they're gonna come up and spend Thanksgiving with us. So I just have some like housework prep stuff to get done. So even though tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I still wanted to do a deep clean. The house needed it either way. So basically I like to start in one room and do all of the cleaning that I need to get done in that room and then move on to the next room. That way I don't feel overwhelmed because when I do a deep clean, I feel like our house gets so dusty, especially on top of the washer and dryer. Um, the windows are always dirty from Dalton and Daylin, from the dogs jumping up. So really everything just kind of needed a good wipe down. You're about to see my really dirty stovetop. I promise you, it usually doesn't get this dirty. Daylin has been cooking eggs like every morning and she makes a big mess, which is fine. But I'm not like a disgusting person. <laughs> my kids cook a lot on here, so I just wanna make that known. <laughs> I'm not gross. really don't have any special tips or tricks or um, remedies for everything that I clean. I right now on the stove top I'm using soapy water so I really just get all the crumbs off and then scrub it with soapy water and then wipe everything down and that's usually what I clean just about everything with unless it is a disinfectant cleaner but I am very interested to know what kind of cleaners that you guys use. I know that I have seen everybody using the pink stuff and I think that's for stainless steel if I remember right but even on my fridge I really just wipe it down with soapy water just to kind of get like the whatever is on the front of my fridge off so I am very open to suggestions on new cleaners really to use I gotta be honest, I don't know how else you're supposed to get dust off of fake plants. So this is what I always do with this one. I legit just run it under like warm water and then I go over each individual like leaf and kind of like wipe it off and it seems to work.
we always seem to have a little area that has a bunch of tools and like random things that need to go back in the garage. So I ended up just putting it in a little Walmart bag and setting it by the door so that I can take it out later. But this area right here is our most high traffic area. So this little corner gets the dirtiest, especially with the dogs. They always jump up on that boiler to look out the window. So the windows are always dirty. That boiler is always dirty and around the trim and the door also get really dirty so i'm constantly cleaning this little area but it definitely needed a big cleaning this is one of the crafts that my mom did whenever she came over this morning so I thought it would be fun to hang it up right here so that they could see their artwork. It could be hung up for Thanksgiving. So I will kind of set these banners. Um, I'll set it aside with the other fall things so that I can pull it out every year because I love saving things like this that they've made. I just got the curtains back on. They are washed and halfway dried, but I just realized I set the turkey out too, just for a little bit because it's it's like fine, but in certain spots it just feels a little crunchy, like frozen-ish. <laughs> and Thanksgiving tomorrow, so that's a great time. But I realized um, Brett just got off work too. He said he's got a really bad headache from like paint fumes or whatever he was using today. Um, we were talking and I realized like I have not eaten it's four o'clock and I have not eaten anything since like 6 a.m. and I'm once I start thinking about food I'm like I'm a little hungry the only thing that I have left to do is vacuum and mop usually I do that um, like the day of but because I'm gonna be doing so many other things it's not that big of a deal I'm just gonna do it tonight vacuum really quick in the morning just cuz you know dog hair I'm gonna play it by ear if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow and just kind of go from there but yeah, my cleaning is almost done. I am throwing together the pumpkin bars. Um, these are, it's like a really moist, like pump moist. Sorry if you hate that word. It's a really soft, um, like pumpkin cake, basically with cream cheese frosting on top. So I'm gonna make this. I'm also gonna do pecan pie and then <clears throat> throw together my grandma's mashed potatoes because if I can get this stuff done tonight, tomorrow, other than the turkey and the ham, it's throwing together, which is so easy. Cornbread casserole, green bean casserole, stuffing, and spinach artichoke dip. So while the like turkey is cooking, I can be working on that stuff. So that won't take me very long, but this stuff, doing this tonight, is gonna make a huge difference. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm very tired and I'm ready to sit down and my feet hurt. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Um, yeah, I feel very like mentally tired, but I decided we're doing a whatever kind of night for dinner because I don't want a lot of um, like leftovers. So it's kind of a eat what you feel like within reason. We have leftover pizza. I even thought about like a breakfast kind of supper to where it's still somewhat kind of healthy, like egg sandwich, that kind of thing. So that is the plan for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the desserts and then move on to my grandma's mashed potato recipe.
one, one uh, dinner is down, three more to go, and I'm going to do the pumpkin pie. I mean, pecan pie. <coughs> checking back in. It is six o'clock. I am done with everything. My feet hurt so bad. Um, both of my children have eaten. I asked Brett if he's hungry. I'm like, either you're going to eat now or I'm not cooking anything. Like I'm so ready to sit down. I have all that laundry to put away. What are you doing? You're going to help me put laundry away? Please. My feet hurt. For real, I'm so tired. No, I just need your help putting laundry away. Will you help me? What? Will you help me put laundry away, please? Do we still have that table? Do we still No! You can help me put your clothes away. Your sister can help me put her clothes away, and then we'll be good to go. Mashed potatoes. What? That's good. So yeah, I have a ton of laundry that I need to put away and then I am done for the day. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you very soon. Bye guys. Um, I lied. I feel bad. I feel bad that I didn't make bread anything for dinner. So I'm gonna make egg sandwiches for him and then I'm gonna sit down, I promise. This is it. <laughs>